Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Welcome to Keep Flying. Welcome to the airport. If you have any queries, Zambia Airports Corporation Limited team is here to assist you. Hmm. Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Has the name changed or what? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for the National Airports Corporation Limited office. Hello, sir. You mean Zambia Airports Corporation? It's this way. Wait, they changed their name from National to Zambia? Why? Yes, we did. We are a proudly Zambian organization and want to embrace it, and hence the name change. Wow, that's new. I had no idea they have a new name. It's not new per se. We just replaced National with Zambia. We're still operating as normal and offering the same type of services. Hmm, you're right. Same name, but more Zambian. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Keep flying. It is a beautiful day, and my name is Kafala. Once again, we meet on this interview with the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. And of course, uh, I'm at the airport right now getting to talk to Mr. George Chisala, who's Senior Manager Technical Services. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. First things first, we would like for you to just explain to us what the Technical Services Unit does at the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Thank you very much. Uh, technical Services, it's a unit of technical people in the field of civil engineering, electrical engineering, ICT. We've got two functions. One is basically repair and maintenance of airport infrastructure. The other one is to have an overview, also pretend the project upgrades and also development that's happening at the airport. As you might have seen, this is a unity representing the corporation to spearhead or to pretend those projects. So in this department, is it only engineers that work in the technical service unit? They are engineers. We are divided into two parts. There's a what we call station, the station technical team, and also head office. At head office, we have all of engineers. I'm the one in charge, and with me, I've got the support of the manager electrical engineering, a manager civil engineering, a manager ICT, and manager projects. Um, then at, at every station, that is uh, Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, uh, Hari Mangankumla International Airport, Saima Maskapo, we have the technical people who are basically looking at uh, maintenance. And these people, they are they represent us through the senior civil engineers at every station. Okay. So uh, Zambia Airports Corporation Limited now has undertaken some major infrastructure projects. Are you working on all four of uh, the international airports? Uh, yes, indeed. We are working on all the four international airports. Uh, in 2010, we started with Hari Mwangankumla International Airport. Uh, we embarked on the uh, rehabilitation of the new terminal building, uh, which we completed. We started in 2010 for phase one. Uh, phase one completed in 2012. Uh, phase two continued until 2016. And thereafter, we completed the entire project, which was commissioned sometime in December in 2016. And obviously, the listener wants to find out how far you've gone uh, with the upgrade of Hari Mangankumbula International Airport in Levenston. Well, like I said earlier, we started with Hari Mangankumbula, and we completed this project in 2016. Basically, we got a new terminal building. If you go to any airport now, we've got two terminal buildings. There's Terminal 1, which is the old, and the new one, which we just completed in 2016, uh, it's Terminal 2. Having said that, we want to just find out what other works have been done at the Hari Mungangumbula International Airport, apart from the terminals that you've talked about, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Mm -hmm. What other works have been done at the Hari Mungangumbula International Airport? Um, we, there are a number of... Uh, uh, projects that were done. Uh, that is the uh, basically the, the main the main project was the rehabilitation, but it came with others what I can call sub projects. Uh, we have changed the power system at Harimogakumbra International Airport. I think we've got the most reliable power system there uh, with a lot of jets and standby. And also we looked at the car park. Uh, the car park was expanded. We added more uh, more parking slots. Uh, we also looked at uh, uh, landscaping. The area was enlarged. We have done that. I think if when you drive to Harimong and Kumula, just before you get to the airport, you'll be able to see uh, just in the landscape from, just from the inception from the entrance. And also we worked on the water reticulation. We supply our own water to the airport. For us, the municipal water supply is the secondary, we say backup. So the water that we have comes from the boreholes, and in that we drilled a number of boreholes there, and also 
uh, we thought the very big time is about 70 cubic meters. Now tell us about the passenger capacity of Harimangangkumla International Airport. Uh, Harimangangkumla now stands at uh, 1 million passengers uh, capacity uh, throughput per year. Let's uh, come back to Visaka. Uh, the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, what facilities are being constructed? The project is, uh, of course, called designing and construction of airport infrastructure. Uh, that means there are a number of airport infrastructures being constructed on this project. The main or the key one being the terminal building. Also, we've got the hotel, airport hotel, 70, 70 room capacity. We've got a shopping mall. We've got the office block. We've got the rescue and fast station services center. We've got the air traffic control building. We've got the terminal cargo. We've got the presidential pavilion and including auxiliary works uh, for like roadways and landscaping. So what's the passenger capacity of the new terminal at Kenneth Kaunda International Airport? The new uh, capacity for the new terminal building is 4 million uh, passengers a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's the capacity of the current terminal? The current is 2 million. Uh, now, uh, I'm sure people want to find out this. Will both terminals remain in use or will you close the current airport and, you know, begin to use the new one once mm. works are done? Uh, well, uh, both, both the terminals will be in use. That is in full use. Uh, in short, I think we are going to have Terminal 1, which is the current one where we are now. And then the new one, it will be Terminal 2. Um, of course, to... Uh, to match so that the, the current building appears similar to what we are. We, in this project, is an undertaking to do rehabilitation. The idea is to also to modernize so that uh, in terms of operation, ambience is equivalent to the new facility that we have around. In case you've just tuned in, you're listening to an exclusive interview with the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. My name is Kafala and with me is Mr. George Chisala, who is a Senior Manager at Technical Services at Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. So how much is the upgrade project at Kenneth County International Airport? Uh, the costs of the total cost of the project is three hundred and sixty million US dollars. And um, when is the project at Kenneth County International Airport likely to be completed? Um, the overall completion of the entire project uh, it's a special schedule, but of course, uh, as as the area alluded to, this project has come with so many facilities. Uh, we've got a terminal building which we're expected to complete uh, airport hotel equally. Um, the rescue and fire station. It was actually complete, but it, of course we are just doing uh, snagging. So we've got projects of in facilities which are you know which are getting completed as we go on, but the overall the entire project to be completed in 2019. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the Harry Mangankumbala International Airport in Livingston. We've also uh, talked about the Kenneth County International Airport in Lusaka. Let's talk about Ndola. Uh, are you rehabilitating the current airport or will you be able to build a new one? Uh, in, in Ndola, we are building or constructing a new modern airport. Um, the current one, we got to the point whereby uh, even the space and also the surrounding facilities, uh, I think we've got Zambezi, the airport, and cement uh, plant, those are... Those are kind of obstruction to aircraft movements. Uh, so we decided to identify the, another place uh, with a new site. It is located uh, about 12 kilometers from CBD in Dola, and it's near the Dagama Short site crash. So what will happen to the current airport, Simon Masaka Pueblo International Airport? And I think that will be resolved at that level. Uh, but the idea is that if, uh, for civil or, for c or civilian movement or uh, operation of aircraft, this will shift to the new airport. Now, as what will be remaining of the, the existing dollar airport, I'm sure that the government or that level, I uh, think they look at it or, or now, which way they can use it. And so what, what facilities will be constructed at the new Copper Belt International Airport? Uh, Copper Belt International Airport is coming with a number of facilities. Among us and key of them is the terminal building, but also the airport hotel. But the rescue and the fire services center, air traffic control building, supporting facilities such as a police station, uh, you know, uh, maintenance hangars, they all be there, including the apron and the runway. And how much has been invested in the construction of the new Cobalt International Airport? Well, the cost, uh, the cost for the new Cobalt International Airport is about $397 million.
we have talked about the Harry Morgan Kumbula International Airport in Levenston. We've also talked about the Kenneth Kalanda International Airport right here in Lusaka. And uh, we've touched the uh, Simon Masaka Popo International Airport on the Copper Belt. Now, we want to find out about uh, the Mufoe International Airport. Are there any plans to build a new terminal or new airport? Um, yes, indeed. Um, we have a plan to develop Mufoe Mufu International Airport, just like we have done to other airports. But I can uh, say that the plans are in the pipeline, and uh, as soon as we finish the stage where we are, uh, the project will start off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as of now, you, you really can't tell us when the works are, uh, will be able to commence? Uh, for now, I can't, uh, but once the uh, discussions and negotiations are concluded, I think we'll be able to get back and confirm to you that now we are set to start the project. Thank you very much. This is Keep Flying. You've been listening to uh, a special interview with the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited right here in Lusaka. And uh, with me was Mr. George Chisala, who's Senior Manager Technical Services at Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. And uh, to find out more on uh, the works uh, being done at the Zambia Airports Corporation, you can visit them on Facebook. You can also visit them on uh, Twitter. Just go on Twitter and check them out. You can also um, check them out on Instagram as well as YouTube. And you can visit the website on www.zscl.co.zm. My name is Kafala and you've been listening to an interview with the Zambia Airports Corporation. To admit next time from me, I'm saying stay tuned. Welcome to the airport. If you have any queries, Zambia Airports Corporation Limited team is here to assist you. Hmm. Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Has the name changed or what? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for the National Airports Corporation Limited office. Hello, sir. You mean Zambia Airports Corporation? It's this way. Wait, they changed their name from National to Zambia? Why? Yes, we did. We are a proudly Zambian organization and want to embrace it, and hence the name change. Wow, that's new. I had no idea they have a new name. It's not new per se. We just replaced National with Zambia. We're still operating as normal and offering the same type of services. Hmm, you're right. Same name, but more Zambian. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Keep flying. <laughs>